I'm a big fan of your show. I've never missed an episode. Thank you. You'll find plenty of material to work with here. Sea serpents, sirens, myths and legends of ancient gods, and loads of ghosts. Good job. Looks like you've done your homework. That's what you hired me for. First time in Cyprus? Yeah. But, uh, Sophia was born here. Really? Where? This place was abandoned for over two decades. The locals are terrified to go near it. Welcome to the Gula Hotel. It's all yours. They're spending a fortune on renovations. What about the crew? They're here. Great. Cyprus. We go to the beach. It's never cold there. <gasps> How was I supposed to know we'd get the only shit week of the year? Well, at least it stopped raining. Jennifer, Christine, your director's here. Jennifer. Hi. Glad you came. Of course. It's going to be a fun week. Uh huh? Let me introduce you to the best sound tech on the island. Probably because I'm the only sound tech on the island. London. Dublin. Much better. Eric, uh, what do you think of this for the location and for the interviews? I don't know. Not sure yet. A and stylistically, how did you want to shoot the show? I was told you're good at handheld. She's the queen of shaky cam. <laughs> well. Okay. Let's take a look around, see how good you are. Mrs. Lindstrom? Look, Anna, call me Sophia. Yes, sorry, Sophia. Let me show you the production office. Who the fuck was that? Been here since yesterday. I haven't seen a single person yet. Feels good holiday, maybe. <coughs> okay, why don't we move someplace else? Yeah, I'm not trying to die today. <laughs> How are you? Fine. So happy to see you. Oh, you look wonderful. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Hmm. How's your mother? She's okay. She finally got over you. Well, I may have been a shitty father, 
No, one thing's for sure. I was an even shittier husband. <laughs> <laughs> it feels weird to be back here after all this time. Oh, you'll get used to it. It'll be good for you. Now we're all together again. Are you ready to meet our hosts? Sure, whatever they like. An interesting couple. Well, the original Grandpa Tungula was a typical Victorian figure. Mm. It, it was built in 1880 during the first few years of the British occupation. According to the locals, this place is cursed. Why did they think that? The area's been infamous since the days of Richard the Lionheart. But a lot of people were killed here before that, in thousands. But the British didn't care. Yeah. The beach is beautiful, and the location was excellent. So they built us the best hotel on the island. My wife used to come here all the time when she was younger. They would throw some wonderful parties. I never imagined I'd own it one day. I just couldn't believe it when France suggested we buy it. It's a dream come true, look at darling. It seemed like a good investment, but we couldn't get any locals to work here because of what happened. So we had to ship laborers in. Tell us about the hotel's gruesome reputation. It was New Year's Eve, 1990, a Monday. It was, in fact, the 53rd Monday of the year, something that happens rarely. There was a party for about 100 guests, the queen on the island. But uh... the food was poisoned, rat poison. To this day, nobody knows how it got in there. There's a big scandal and a high level investigation, but nothing ever came of it. Mm, yes, every single one of the guests died right there and then. In agony, apparently, and that very same night, the hotel's owners committed suicide. The place was closed down. And since then, the locals say it's haunted. And none of this put you off when you thought of buying the place? No, like I said, it seemed like a good investment. And back then, there was no hint of any spirits. Well, we can fix that. What do you mean? Well, we'll have a ghost in the background of the interview, D dim the lights. A few tricks in the editing room, and look, this chap, he could play a ghost. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Tell me I misunderstood. Look, over three seasons, we've never found any evidence of paranormal activity. It's time to try something different. Think about it. Let's use some of that old-style carny showmanship. Audiences love it. You know what? Fuck you. Eric, are you out of your mind? No. We're done. Show's over. Look, Eric, relax. It was a joke. Oh, that was a joke. Well, bad timing, Bruce. I don't know what the fuck you're thinking. I'm sorry. Let's Call it a day, you guys get some rest, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Good night. Eric. Eric, you're a professional. Anna? You need to come down. Could you take us to the hotel now, please? This is the hotel. You mean we're staying here? Your rooms are on the fifth floor. It's the only one that's fully refurbished. Boris took your bags up earlier. Why didn't you tell me this before? Okay. Forget about it. You show us up, please. Oh, isn't it? It 
looks old and modern at the same time. Our hosts have a singular taste, I'll tell you that. He loves to screw around. I know. But I think he enjoys winding me up. I'm in room 506. Good night. Good night. What a feast. It was so delicious. Thank you very much. Bless you. You're welcome. Well, it's time for us to turn in. We wish you a splendid night here at the Hotel Cooler. Sweet dreams. Would you mind see a drink? No, thanks. It's a little late for me. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Good night. Uh, would you like a drink? Maybe tomorrow. Mr. McPherson, we've already been over this. Well, Anna, sometimes a drink is just a drink. Please, let us keep things professional. Then call me Bruce. Ding dong. Are you sure you wouldn't like that drink? Bye. It's okay. 
You still taking those pills? No. Okay. All right. All right. Welcome. Sorry, we are late. We both had a rough night. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Come on, let's get you guys something to eat. Thank you so much. Uh, where's Brooks? He called to say he couldn't make it. Yeah, he also told us about last night. Sometimes I just don't get him. Look, if it's about money, you know, Dom, it's, it's not about the money. But I understand you're not happy with the take Bruce has on the show. Uh, look, I respect the man, but uh, our careers are at stake here. And exactly what career are you talking about now? Huh. <clears throat> what are we going to do now? Maybe we should start looking for a new job. I'm sure Bruce will still hire me. Mm -hmm. Ah, switching teams now. Traitor. Wait, wait, did you hear that? Go back. Turtle? That's not good. I'm sorry about Dom. Sometimes he can be very blunt. But you know, Frank and Rosemary, they've spent all their savings on that place. It's the world. Yeah, I know that. They're nice people. A bit old fashioned, I admit, <laughs> but their heart is in the right place. Let's give them a hand. Help them attract tourists. Pat, you're absolutely right. Don't let the smell put you off. It'll do you good. What is it? It's made from locally grown herbs. It'll put you to sleep. Can we please forget about before? I want to do whatever it takes to get this show made. Well, this calls for a celebration, then. <laughs> okay. I like it. Sophia. You want to walk back through the old town? I'm sorry for all the screw-ups. For all the stupid things that I did and didn't do. I should have thought about you instead of my career. I've really missed you all these months. I missed you too. You were very cute, you know that? Those circles under your eyes make you look you. <laughs> it's better. I've always loved your smile. Always <laughs> <laughs> oh,
that cold? She sounded happy. I'm glad you sorted things out. Yeah. It's all good now. Why don't we meet in the morning and have a chat over breakfast? I'm gonna go talk to Bruce. I'll see you all tomorrow. Let me give you a drink. If the pilot works, we have ourselves a show. If not, we go home. You know this business. I just want to deliver a good show. Let me rephrase that. I have got to deliver a good show. I don't want this to be some cheap carnival spook house series. Neither do I, Eric. How long since you last saw her? Since you lost the baby, right? I'm worried about her. She doesn't seem to be getting any better. She's not working. The network isn't interested. She's only here because I insisted. This is your chance to patch things up. I know you still have feelings for if you quit now, you'll lose her for good. Before I forget, this is the master key. It activates all the doors and elevators to the hotel. Great. And here you have all the local legends. This area used to be dominated by the cult of Teshe. The locals worshipped him and sacrificed their own people. Why? Healing was an honor, a way of giving thanks to him. Teshe prevented the world's destruction by defeating his own kin, the serpent. That's really impressive, Anna. Uh, Right now, I'm just intrigued by these uh, the ghost stories made this place so unpopular. Right. I'll leave you to it. May I borrow my daughter for a second? How well do you know them? I met them when I first came to the island, many years ago. Sweet couple. I don't like them. Something is going on. Nothing's going on. Don't lie to me. Sophia, I'm telling the truth. You know that I love you. I only want what's best for you. I know you do, but everything seems so strange. There is always someone. Something watching us. All I ask is that you trust me, and all will be well. I promise. I promise. Boss, what's going on? Bruce has put together a new script. 
Pat and Dom adore it, so we move forward. What did he have in mind? He wants to do a few magic tricks, add a little mystery to our show. That's a totally different show. I don't think that's a good idea. You don't. But you're not the director. Let's get started. Bring your camera. Then. You didn't have to join. <laughs> Eric, what's going on? I had an idea. We're going to shoot something now. Establishing shot. They literally never leave the hotel. Uh, Christine, would you mind going in and calling Bruce? Good evening and welcome to the first episode of Ghosts of the Old World. I'm your host, Bruce McPherson, and tonight we're at the Grand Hotel Gula, Cyprus. No one has stayed in this hotel since that fateful Monday when a hundred people died in this room. Then the three owners shot themselves. After that, many strange things happened, and we're here to investigate. Who are you? Don't be afraid. Speak to me. Oh, my fucking God. To quote Sherlock Holmes, when you have eliminated the impossible, Whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Cut. Great. How was that? It was, uh, great. And the ghost? The ghost was great. It was perfect. Thank you. Good job. Uh, Jennifer, I'm just gonna need to stay on Bruce for as long as you can. I want your whip left just as late as possible. All right? You're the boss. I'm not. How do we feel? We love it. We love it. Great. Bruce, I think that's uh, some of your best work. Thank you. <laughs> all right, everybody, let's go again. We'll go over another one straight away, all right? This is what we have to do. Upstairs for Doctor. Let her breathe. Bruce isn't back yet. No.
Tonight's events have shaken her up a little. She'll be fine. Some rest, I'm sure of it. She needs a doctor. There you go. The doctor's in the house. Drink this, my dear. Everything will be all right now. I'm here to take care of you. What is it? It smells really awful. Just some local herbs. Comes the nerves. Frank and I swear by it. It does smell pretty awful, I'll admit, but believe me when I tell you, it works miracles. That's your medical opinion, is it? I'm retired now, but uh, I spent many years working as a general practitioner. She's in good hands, young man. There you go, my dear. Get some sleep. And in the morning, you feel like a new person. It wasn't a dream. What do you mean? The night my parents died, I was here. How's that even possible? I don't know. I was a kid, but it's coming back to me. What else do you remember? Should we be worried? No. She'll be fine. Glass of wine? I'm good. I trust we'll soon have a good reason for toast. Never turn down a good glass of wine. Take a rain check. I'd better go prepare some more schedule. I think I know where that voice is coming from. You heard them. It's the twin drinking we tell me later. Let's drink to our generous hosts and the success of our show. Frost, my friends. Cheers. Thousands of people were sacrificed to the god Teshu, according to some local scholars. Uh, we should put that in the show. I mean, that's TV gold. I'm okay with ghosts, but ritual human sacrifice, no thanks. Well, it's time we were off to bed. I don't think I could sleep after that. I could keep you company if you wish. <coughs> Good night, Bruce. Well, won't anyone say for uh, a drink? You know what? Why not? Hmm? It's okay, my dear. Just don't be too late. Don't worry. He's in good hands.
Sophia, what's wrong? It was so real. More like a memory than a dream. There was someone there with me. Who was it? I don't know. I couldn't see them. It felt evil. I can feel its presence here. Stand, Frank. I'm serious, Bruce. I'm done with all this. Hang on just a little longer. Please. Okay. Sometimes it just feels like I'm in a Woody Allen film. The director's a nice guy, it's just like he seems really stressed out. No, she's his ex-wife. There's something, there's something about her. Fuck, I'll have to call you back. Didn't you tell them? You were here that night, weren't you? You always do this. Look, I just want to be taken seriously on the job. And what's the excuse for your parents? <laughs> my parents don't support my decision, so I'm sorry if I'm not dying for you to meet them. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and figure out what that sound was. It's the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
What's the rush? Have you seen Anna? No. I was supposed to meet her. Then I'm sure she's on her way. Have a drink with me. <laughs> Not a good idea. Tomorrow. Work, work, work. Same old day. Don't be such a prick. Prick. <laughs> OK. I want to talk to you about something anyway. Anna? Anna? There is no sign of her. At last, I'm in her room, and she's not here. <laughs> All right. Where the fuck is she?
where the fuck are you? What's going on? <sighs> Something happened to Christine. I need your help. Where are you? I don't know. Can you call her? I'm on my way. Where are you going? Won't be long. I promise. Don't open the door to anybody. Relax. What are you doing? It's okay. Don't be scared. Do I need one of the beds for you? Where's Christine? She's in the basement. She, she was... What the fuck is she doing in the basement? Look, come on. The, the, the elevator wasn't working. Let's take the stairs. Wait a minute. There's a master key in the office. Doesn't anyone ever sleep in this hotel? Christine's gone. What do you mean, gone? I don't know. We, we were in the boiler room filming something, and, and we got... Well, what were you filming? Uh, I'm not sure. I... Well, show me. I need to see it. First, we get Christine. Remind me to fire this little cunt tomorrow. Gotta be here. Shit, they're gone. What's gone? Two of the files. There was a file with the guest list and one with the name of the victims. Well, maybe she took them home. Wait a second. I I've seen that before. In the basement, I saw it on the wall. It's an ancient symbol for Teshub, an ancient god. What's that got to do with Christine? I read an article about a sect that used to make sacrifices to this Teshub right here on the island. I mean, human sacrifices. Uh, the article mentioned sheep. Come on, guys. What is this crap? Show me the footage. You're not as good as I thought. Fuck you. I think it's just a rat or something. Yeah, right. Rats don't slither. Right there. See that thing on the wall? Now, can you please go get Christine? There's nothing here. Could she have gone down there? That's where we came from. I'm sure she's OK. Oh, my god. A treasure from the cellar. Frank, have 
haven't you seen Christy? Why don't you guys go on? I'm sure she's fine. Seriously? Thanks, Bruce. Get fucked. Place is thousands of years old. Look at this. Holy shit. This is a plan of the hotel from 1880. Looks like there's a whole other floor. You got access to it through the kitchen. Look at this. How is that possible? That's Frank and Rosemary. It can't be that. Upstairs? It's Sophia's cell phone.
Where is Sophia? And Christine. You don't have a fucking clue, do you? What did you do to Sophia and Christine? You're about to meet her. Now.
Eric, you don't know what you're doing. Bruce. What the fuck are you doing to her? You remember now. You remember when we first met. She's chosen you. Chosen for what? What are you talking about? If you accept your role, you can live with Sophia here for centuries. Mm -hmm. But you will never leave this place. Ever. Bruce. If you don't move, I will fucking kill you. Eric, you haven't understood a thing. We don't venerate Tasha. We contain her. She is part of all religions and goes by many names. Lucifer, Kali, Melika. We are leaving here. If you do, the world will end. The sun will die. I'll take my chances. <laughs>
fight this thing is to face it head on. Word. And try it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Feel a man chest. Man heart being like two guns shooting through vests. You don't know stress. No. You don't know going through hell and back at best. You don't even rap. You don't even claim your block. They don't know you exist. Boy, you a myth. I'm on the way to the top, so it's time to roll again. Hit the homie, y'all told him, meet me over in the west. Man, it's hectic out here in the east. Load the ammo up, you know the rest. Grab the trees, grab the car keys. Pulling up quick, man, it's so cocky. Man, don't switch, the brand new drip. My candle lit, the man you cannot handle. Hey, my chick on fire, her wrist on eyes. Her tits got done, they brand new. You ain't got ties, you ain't that high. We don't even watch your channel. Name one thing that we can do. Don't let me flash back to the path that had the boy travel. Reenact with the wrath on your ass, quick, fast, something so satanical. Facts. All facts, man that war with the past, man that war with the stress, man don't fall cause I'm blessed, yes, look, Ben has scars on the arm, leg, neck, still like who next, fight demons with two texts, coming out the win is the true test. Am I not me, what can I see, everything around me, spins around me. Your thirst, your neck will hurt, but check for it's like you're doing. Get the work, make it work. Don't the early bird get the extra worm on second thought? Collect your thoughts, set your course, forget the rest. Get a check, private jet, buy a house, and buy the red Corvette next, will ya? I'm fighting these battles with all of my demons, but they ain't gonna stop me from dreaming. I used to get rattled until I went at them. Shit, it was a challenge, believe them. I can't believe all that I'm seeing. My shorty, a ting who done licked me, a ting, and she European. If you ain't heard it, I know you see them. Yeah. Am I not me? What can I see? Everything around me spins around me. 